Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of rounding, specifically how we can round the same number to different place values, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's start with a fairly large number. So let's say 47,182. So typically when we round, our first thought is always to go to the largest place value. So what would happen if we were rounding to that largest place value? That's going to be in the 10 thousands spot. Well, I'll show you the shortcut, but really we need to understand what's happening. What you're doing is you're looking between two boundary numbers, right? So what is the 10,000 that comes before this 47,182? Since that's the place we're going to, we're going to be looking at the 10,000 before, and then we're going to be looking at the 10,000 afterwards, just the 10,000s. So really what we're looking at is where does this number fall closer to? If I were to look at 47,182, would it be closer to 40,000 or 50,000? Most of you would agree that it's probably going to land right around here somewhere, 47,182, which means it's going to round up to 50,000. Now, let me show you the shortcut version of that. We're going to take a look at what I've just underlined. That's the place that we're going to, the 10,000s place. You always look to the digit to the right. Just the digit to the right. These numbers are going to turn into zero no matter what. So let's just go ahead and put those in there. That digit, if it is an upper right that's over here, if it's zero to four, it stays the same. So I'm going to put little arrows that mean stay the same. If that digit is five to nine, and it's going to go up. And so this seven has to decide what happens to this four. Does it stay the same or does it go up? Well, the seven is five to nine, which means it's, this is your halfway point right here. This is your 45,000. That seven is gonna kick up this four and I'm gonna make it go up. And so it's gonna turn into a five because it's between five and nine. And then the seven also turns into a zero. So that's what's happening. But what happens if we were to take this number and we were to look at the thousands place? So let me write thousands. Let's also draw a line to separate and let's rewrite our number 47,182. But now we're going to this thousands place. Well, one thing I can say is that anything to the left of the number we underline is going to stay the same. So we're going to go ahead and keep that right there. We're simply going to be looking at this one to see what is going to happen. We know that these numbers are going to turn into zeros. So is this one between 0 to 4 or 5 to 9? Well, it's between 0 to 4, which means it's going to say to the 7, you stay the same. So it looks like before it becomes a 0, that 1 tells the 7 stay the same, it's going to become 47,000. So let's make sure we're looking at the right number line and the boundary numbers. So we're looking at the 1,000 that comes before and after this number. So before it's going to be 47,000 just by itself. And the next thousand is going to be 48,000. We're trying to figure out where would this number land? 47,182. Our midpoint is going to be 47,500. And yes, it's going to be really close to the front. Actually, 47,182 is not that big. Well, what happens if we were to look at the hundreds place. So let's see what happens when we go to the hundreds place. Same number. Let's rewrite it. 47,182. Underline the hundreds place. Look at the digit next to it. That's going to tell you what's going to happen. We know any digits in front of it are going to stay the same. So this 8 is definitely between 5 and 9, which means it's going to make this 1 bump up to a 2 before it becomes a zero and this anything after the circle number becomes a zero. So it looks like it's going to round to 47,200. Let's double check just to make sure. Let's see where this comes between. We're looking at the hundreds before and after this number. So 47,100 and we've got 47,200. Our midpoint here is going to be 47,150. And so we're looking at this 180, and this 180 is probably going to be right up there, 47,182. So you notice as we keep shifting over, we can round it to different places based on what we look at and what we underline. 